On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to fix those tiny little bumps on your wall caused by nails or screws, also known as nail or screw pops, so stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. You can tell that this drywall was not set properly because of this crack on the left side, which I'll show you in a later video on how to fix wall or ceiling cracks. But there's this bump on this wall, and first we're going to try to expose it. So you're probably wondering what causes these nails and screw pops to happen because the screw is set in too deep, which means that you penetrate that paper face on the drywall, and eventually it will weaken the screw and eventually over time it will create that screw pop. Expansion and contraction is also a great factor because these studs are made out of wood and depending on your environment and the moisture and the humidity this will create that screw pop as well. Drywall it has a weak core so one of those things is because that you know maybe it got left out in the rain or it got stepped on also the drywall was not tight to the frame so when you're installing these drywall make sure it is nice and secured and not moving around so lastly another reason are the screws are too long so you already know that it, uh, longer screws are harder to put onto the stud and if it's crooked later on it'll eventually due to expansion and contraction it will end up popping out of that drywall so be careful of that make sure you use the right drywall screw size okay now what you're going to do is you're just going to tap along that where that bubble is located so right here i'm just using my 10 and one tool and i'm just tapping onto the perimeter of where that bubble is i'm just trying to get this extra piece out you can either use your if you have a five and one ten and one if you have a box knife you can use that as well or any type of knife knife and you're just gonna go around the perimeter of here and just gonna take out all that excess because we want to build this with some joint compound and I'll be showing you later on what joint compound I'm gonna be using so I don't know actually what this is yet this is actually my first time showing you what came out but eventually it did come out with a nail so it's either a screw or a nail but either or you need to take this off and you can see that there are rust on these nails here's a trick I'm using my Lyman's pliers and I'm gripping it and I'm using my tendon one you can use use a putty knife your knife or six inch four inch drywall knife and make sure that you place that against to the wall so you don't end up damaging i'm using it as leverage and i'm using that to press against it rather than the wall and damaging the wall do this carefully if there is a nail if there's a screw it's very easy if it's a screw same concept you're just gonna go and drill it out take out that old nail or old screw out of there and here's that screw that or here's that nail that was used it is all rusted and yeah we're just gonna get rid of this so now you have a choice whether you want to put the screw on the top of the hole or the bottom of the hole in this case I'm putting it on the side and I help support that crack that I'm fixing on the other side as well so I'll show you a video on how I fix that wall or ceiling crack so what I'm gonna be using is this easy sand five five minutes so this has a chemical compound in it that makes it dry super fast and super hard this is great for touch up or patch up repairs on your drywall i'll leave it in the description down below where i got this and also the tools that i use i'm taking my pan i'm putting water on it first and then i'm just going to apply that joint compound on top of here where i'm going to start mixing so you always that's good practice put water in first then put your powder on there so i'm just going to put a little bit of time i'm not going to be using a much much of this but like what i showed you it i did had end up having that drywall crack on the side of that hole so i'm going to be mixing a little bit more than what we need so that i can patch both at the same time which i said to you earlier i am going to make a separate video on how i fix that drywall crack on the left side of this drywall uh, nail or screw pop okay so i'm just mixing it add as you go and once you start mixing this once everything is mixed you have five minutes to work this mud so just constantly just add whatever you need and i'm just going to be scraping off the excess texture on there and i'm going to apply it you can use your drywall knife or your five in one doesn't matter just apply it make sure it's nice and filled and with the extra that i made i'm also going to fill this drywall crack on the left side with my um, drywall knife as well and this actually this crack runs all the way up to the ceiling that's why i end up mixing what i end up mixing but on these little tiny things only mix a little portion so you don't waste material again after five minutes of doing this you, uh, mixing this you have to work really fast because if you don't this is what will happen it will eventually start getting harder and harder like this and it's not going to be workable and it's pretty much trash after that okay so after actually 
eight minutes in this is what it feels like it's actually a little bit tacky but you can tell that it's starting to harden and like what i said it's gonna you gotta work fast so now i'm using mesh tape i'm just gonna apply that over to where um i put that five minute mud on apply it make sure it's nice and secure now i'm going to be applying joint compound now you're going to be using the 20 if you have a 45 the 90 minute mud don't use five minute mud on this friends because you're going to have such a hard time put a second coat after you put the second one on um, depending how many coats you need and after that you're going to sand it here i'm just using my 180 grit sandpaper and i'm just feathering it onto because i'll be applying texture later on make sure you wipe all that dust off before you apply this texture if you want texture go free field to do it but that is an option then go paint if you find value to this friends please hit that like subscribe notification bell and i'll see you on the next video this is an easy fix anybody can do it thank you i'll see you next time